Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Julian98 with 822 rating versus Tempest TS with 868 rating, so it's going to be a high rated DB video, and hopping right in, we see Julian win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and they decide to go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it, opening hands we have Soprano, Ostinato, Refrain, Orange Light, Pot of Desires, they have Sangun, Kaiman, Fadra, Bistio, Magma, Unicorn, and Theosis, so... Okay, also the Bistial is like a pretty decent interruption against Melodious, but also it's going to cut off access to Unicorn if the body sticks, or if it resolves, because I mean we could Orange Light it. Ostinato, dump the Couplet, and the uh, Sonata, and then we're going to bring out Bacha, Bacha Effect, bring out Shapina, Shapina Effect, grab back Couplet, and then on that target, they will Bestial Magma Mutt. Yep, go ahead. Banish special effect to search during the end phase. Normal summon out refrain effect. So obviously we're not going to orange light that because we can just easily play through. Uh, we're going to go ahead and search couplet. And then activate couplet effect. Special summon back out from the graveyard. And then activate couplet scale effect. Go ahead and search out the concerto. That's fine. Uh, now activate the fusion spell. We're going to make a flowering there. New chain link. Bacho 1. Refrain 2. So scale special summon back out the Shapina. And then refrain effect to go dump the Soprano. And then Shapina effect. Grab back Soprano. Activate Pot of Desires now to go ahead and banish 10. Draw Ash Valor. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, we banish Cannon there, which doesn't really matter. And then the third couplet, which also doesn't really matter at this time. And then, now we're going to link off, make Bloom, Bloom, Discard, Summon out Aria, and then Sonata. Uh, now Pendulum, Summon out the Soprano, Soprano Effect, grab back the Shapina, and then Effect Diffuse into the DD Crow. So, end phase, they're going to search out Tenpai Dragon, Pydra. So, I mean, we have... Pretty much full end board here. Uh, you know, the gang attack and defense, the triple DD Crow, Aria, the flowering bounds, uh, Ash, Valor, Orange Light. Uh, we have Concerto and Graveyard that we never got to draw off last turn, sadly. But that is fine um, because we will draw off of it eventually. You know, if they out our body, eventually we'll draw. Uh, normal summon effect, we Valor. Battle phase, quick play spell, Ash Blossom that. Main phase two, make Striker Dragon, and then we make SP. SP effect to go banish the couplet, and then they go set the Osis. End phase effect to go bounce, and then yeah, they just submit the feet. I was gonna say, yeah, it's just, it's not gonna work. Maybe they're hoping that they bounce before so they can summon Unicorn, but Unicorn's also just not gonna be enough to actually do anything. Um, so, and they can't chain SP here because nothing can be targeted on this side of the field. So they admit the feet. Moving on to game number two now, 10 Pi Kashtira will decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Concerto, Cosmic, Sonata, Aria, and Ostinato. They have Ash Blossom, Sengen Summoning, Fadra, Pressured Planet, and Trap Trick. Okay, so I'm guessing Trap Trick is going for like D Barrier, maybe DDG. So activate Pressured Planet, we search out Fenrir. Okay, so we don't go for a Unicorn, which... Unicorn would be able to grab us Theosis, which we know that we play. Uh, now activate Sun Gun Summoning, go search, and then discard the Pedra. Okay, normal summon out Fadra. Effect, special back out from the graveyard. Effect, go search for quick play spell. That's fine. Uh, now link off into a seal. Set to pass. Okay, so just making a pretty basic end board here. Uh, we also did it in four summons, so we're not getting hit with rock, potentially. Pass to draw Pot of Desires, even though, you, you, I mean, you typically sat out rock against this deck. Um, but I guess it could have it in. And also, this, actually, never mind. Rock was just never a real card. I feel like they should have played harder into rock, because, first of all, people side out rock against Tenpai. Second of all, they're playing Melodious, so they can't even play that card, like, optimally. Because Ostinato and First Movement Solo require no monsters, so a lot of people don't even play it. But we're going to draw phase, uh, go ahead, set D Barrier from the deck, and then activate Pot of Desires to go banish. And then that's going to get hit with Ash Blossom, stop them from drawing two cards. I mean, at this point, you're pretty much just scared of, like, the non-engine. The engine you can deal with with D Barrier, Seal, Fenrir, for sure. 
Uh, so you're just scared of the non-engine cards. Uh, and then this just banishes a couple up there. Uh, nothing big. Okay. And now, yeah, they just submit defeat because they realize that they lose to D-Barrier. So, on to the next game. Uh, we will see Julian, 98, Melodius go first. We have Ostinato, Refrain, Concerto, Couplet, First Movement Solo. They have Terraforming, Sengun, Kaiman, Pydra, Shifter, and then Chundra. So, we're going to activate Ostinato, chain the Shifter technique... And then go ahead, dump Couplet and Sonata from the deck. Bring out Bacha. Bacha effect goes summon out the cannon. So we're going to try to set up Babuska through this. And then Refrain, go search out Soprano. And then overlay those. Make a Babuska. Pass turn. And then they draw into a Pydra. Okay, so I mean this card can be outed with like SP. But if your opponent has to SP Babuska, I mean you just don't lose, right? So that's pretty good. Uh, terraforming pressured planet pressured planet unicorn and then special summon out unicorn now normal summon out pydra activate chandra effect special summon out and then make the striker dragon and then link off to go ahead and make seals uh, think which material yeah go ahead and make i mean not seal why did i say seal make sp obviously it's sp they're not gonna make seal sp banish and then now we have unicorn effect to go search grab out theosis yeah, we have quick play spell too. Battle phase, activate quick play spell. Search out Chandra, summon out Chandra, then attack. Effect to go special. Bring out the Pydra. Pydra effects, search out quick play spell. The Bacha gets beat over because we have pressured planet. And then now we're going to go effect a synchro, make ancient fairy, main phase two. Effect, destroy pressured planet to go search out Sangan summoning. Sure, Theosis goes summon out a Fenrir now. Yeah, so that's probably our end board. So I know fielding quick play spell, right? Uh, yep, Fenrir goes search out catch to a unicorn. And then, okay, overlay. Uh, never mind. I was going to say, I mean, you could overlay and make a Shang if you play it. If you, I mean, you could overlay with Fenrir, Ancient Fairy makes Shang, and then standby phase summon out Fenrir. It's not bad. Shang's also like follow up if you have more cash bodies in deck. Pass to draw Ash Blossom, but I was about to say it also does get punished a little bit by an Ash Blossom. Oh, uh, but they probably don't have it, otherwise, they would have used it that turn. Um, but yeah, they would have drawn up for turn. Uh, so activate first movement solo, summon out Aria from the deck. That's fine. It's so, it's so good to activate first movement solo, bring out Aria. Like now, the SP doesn't work against our field, the Fenrir doesn't work against our field. Well, I should say against our monsters at least. Couplet, go search out the Concerto. Now we will go activate Concerto. Uh, yeah, activate it in this column. Just in case it's imperm and they're stupid and they use it. And then we're like, haha, you can't use that. It's like free knowledge. Uh, bring out Bacha. Now we're going to go Couplet, Bacha. So scale, special summon out from the deck. And then we're going to go ahead and summon out Refrain. Now new chain link Refrain effect. Sure. Uh, so go ahead, search out Couplet, and then activate the Couplet Hand Effect. And then we should be using Fenrir, at least, to banish this. Because this only, yeah, this only does Melodious Monsters. But we're just going to Unicorn to rip the Melodious Bloom. And then summon out the Soprano. Okay. And now Soprano Effect to go Fuse. Bring out Flowering. And then we're going to go Bacha, Concerto, Refrain. So Scale. Summon back out the Soprano in defense, put back, draw Cosmic, well it should be in defense, then Fenrir banish the Refrain face down. Okay, maybe they maybe they wanted to hold it like this because they know there's another couplet. It's not like Refrain has a scale effect because we have Aria face up right now. Um, but okay, so Soprano chain link 1, Fenrir chain link 2. Yup, that is fine. And then now battle phase, flowering to beat over Fenrir. Activate quick play spell, chain Ash, chain SP onto itself plus Fenrir. And then continue to beat over Unicorn, okay. Main phase two, set Cosmic, set the Concerto. End phase, bring back SP Fenrir. And then flowering effect to bounce back Fenrir, Ancient Fairy. So just leave SP there because this card doesn't really do a whole lot against our deck. It's really just going to be follow up for themselves. Uh, and then that means they can't special summon out a cash, which we know that they have in their hand. 
Uh, so they draw the Fadra there. So now main phase, activate field spell, field spell effect, chain cosmic, banish that. And now we're going to go battle phase crash. So that way we can summon out a cash to euro. So now summon out unicorn, unicorn effect. Is it proper to do that? I don't know. Maybe we should have went like normal Pydra, Pydra effect. I'll go ahead and search out a quick play spell. Try to do things. They try to stop us. We have SP. And then, you know, worst case scenario, our field gets outed. We summon out a cash in main phase two. I don't know. I, I feel like just going main phase two, our deck's not threatening at all in main phase two. Uh, add birth, activate birth, summon unicorn, normal summon out, Pydra, Pydra, search out, quick play spell, okay, and now from here, I mean, yeah, what do we want to do, uh, activate quick play spell, go ahead, search out, Chandra, Chandra effect, special summon out, uh, they said, yeah, that summon's fine, I mean, is it that fine, yeah, I guess if they make black rose, we just chain flowering, Go ahead, bounce. Now they make Biden to Biden summon back out from the graveyard. And then they said, sure. Uh, now they're going to make a dispatter, which is also just okay there. Uh, so now they have the dispatter effect that can summon back out. So they're going to summon out Striker Dragon. Okay. Which doesn't do anything. Yeah. Draw Imperm now. Uh, so now go main phase, activate Concerto, use Couplet from hand and Couplet from scale, bring out Bacha, new chain link, Bacha, Couplet, and then they're going to chain birth to banish the you know relevant cards from their graveyard, and then also an Ash Blossom, which you actually shouldn't be banishing Ash, right? Because they probably play Hita in their extra deck, so we probably should have banished one of the irrelevant cards. Um, but now we're going to go ahead... Scale, special from deck, bring out refrain, refrain effect, unicorn effect. Um, then they said, okay, show the extra deck. Uh, so they're going to rip the Typhoon there, or Typhon. Uh, search out the Sanita, couplet effect. Go ahead, search out fusion spell. Okay, we have Soprano effect to go fuse. Uh, bring out the DD Crow, and then refrain the scale. Uh, refrain can't use its effect targeting this because we do have Aria. Uh, you know, this is something that comes up a lot. Don't let people do it to you. Special summon out the Sonata from hand. Battle phase. Attack over because Refrain's going to give it the boost of what? How many? This is level, level 7, right? Yeah, level 7. So 14. So 14 boost. So beat over that. Uh, Bacha to attack. Uh, attack the unicorn they said suck think on the attack declaration i mean we have a 500 boost from our sonita there uh yeah they were attacking with bacha which it doesn't even really matter yeah because we have the boost and then go ahead attack over attack over and then attack directly okay and then we can go main phase two now uh, we're gonna go Bacha plus the Sanita, make Protector of the Agents, which can pop birth. Bacha, summon back out the Soprano, Soprano effect, add back the Shopina, Agent effect, Tribute, pop birth. And then Pendulum, summon out the Shopina, Shopina effect, grab back the Sanita. And then Soprano effect to go fuse, bring out another DD Crow, set Imperm, End Phase, effect to go ahead and DD Crow from their graveyard. And then activate this effect to go ahead and DD Crow from their graveyard. So wiping out, I mean the cash doesn't really matter if it's not in graveyard, but wiping out like the Ten Pi stuff, also like the Biden that can end up summoning itself out. They didn't want to activate this before to try to summon because uh, it would just get crowed. I guess they could have chained it in response uh, because I mean three or more attacks did happen. So, I mean, they could have chained it in response, but then they just activate the other DD Crow effect in response to it. Uh, but I guess it does mean, like, one less card gets banished, but it's also only, like, a once per duel effect. So they probably just didn't want to activate it there because it doesn't do anything, and all we get to do is keep a unicorn in grave, which doesn't even matter if a unicorn stays in grave or not. Flowering, banish, and then bring back. Just that way they have their DD Crow effects again. And then pass. Yeah, they just submit the feet there. So GG's, GG's. So we end up seeing Melodius beat Tenpai there. 
yeah, I mean, there's not too much to say. Babuska is a really good card in this deck. There's also, like, uh, <clears throat> certain combos that you can actually end on this card. So you end with, like, Bacha, Babuska, Flowering. And then Bacha makes this out way the Flowering effect will not be negated by Babuska. So then you have Babuska plus, like, a double bounce on your field. So, like, you can protect the Babuska. So if you have that type of end board, you pretty much just put, like, a Snake Eye opponent or something on have non-engine. Otherwise, like, they're going to have to commit multiple bodies to try to out Babuska. You bounce them, and then how are they going to get to more bodies to out Babuska? And let's say somehow they do, like, they have, a, like, multiple cash cards, like a crazy hand, very specific hand. Now, what are they doing after the SP to out Babuska? Like, now... now they outed it, and now what do they do from there, right? Like, it's so hard to do. Um, it's pretty much impossible. Like, they have to have non-engine to actually beat that there. Um, but okay, now, going on and seeing how long the match was, about 48 minutes long. Uh, so, you know, IRL, this could have very well gone to time, especially on DB side deckings a little bit faster. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's always good to look at how long the matches are actually taking and seeing how long you're taking and seeing if you can make your game play faster. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it for the video. And with that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.